What's going on YouTube? I here today. I know I've shown this before in one of my previous videos, but I got the uh, I got the deer meat for dinner fillet knife, and we're gonna use it today to try to clean some crappie. It's really bright out. I got this uh, crappie that we caught in the previous video. They're on ice, so I'm gonna clean these suckers and show you guys how to do it. All right, so we got the fish laid out here. I'll bring you guys over here up close and up close and personal. First off, though, I want to show y'all something. Check this out. Look at my shirt. Boom! Yeah, North Country Off Grid sent that to me for a Christmas gift, and I love it. Uh, it's probably one of the coolest T-shirts I've gotten off YouTube so far. But if you guys don't know who North Country Off Grid is, be sure to go over and check them out. I'm gonna leave a link right here. I'm sure you'll see me in this shirt quite a bit, but. Um, you guys go check them out. They're a great channel. Um, I think they were on the DIY channel at one point in time or for building their tiny home. I don't remember which one of the channels it was. They were on one of the TV channels building a tiny home and uh, they're off grid and they have pigs and all kinds of stuff. They got a lot going on and they're getting ready to build a house. Love watching their channel. It's a good channel. So if you guys would, please go check them out and uh, be sure to subscribe to, to their channel. Tell them what I sent you. But we're gonna get back to cleaning this fish. I'm hoping I don't get this thing dirty. I'm bringing you up close and personal though so y'all can see what's going on. So let's see if the old silver stag here, deer meat for dinner edition, really works. Usually I use an electric flay knife. Um, I didn't have my blades. I don't know what I did with them. But just wanna run that down. Basically, I'm coming in behind the gills, cutting down like so, and I'm turning the blade sideways and running it down the backbone. I'm gonna stick it through. Go ahead and finish this out, going down the bone. Come back this way. Lift this up. So you get down in here, you see all that meat? These suckers are slimy, they're wet. Run this down the the rib cage. I hadn't cleaned a fish in a while. I probably should have worked on a couple before I went and did this, but come down that rib cage. Just like deer meat for dinner does it. There you have it. We'll go ahead and just flip this on off here. I get faster at this as we go. I hadn't been fishing in a while. There you have it. Boneless, no ribs, no nothing. Took me about a minute, maybe. Maybe longer. I don't know, like I said, this is really slimy. Well, I should have had this thing. I need to turn. Let's bring the fish over here. I got an old golf cart windshield. This thing works awesome. That's gonna be better. Be careful, you don't want to. Deer meat for dinner makes this look way easier. Just run that down through there, like so. Right up next to that rib cage. The electric flay knife you can cut right down through there. 
that belly meat and everything. There you have it. Freshly clean crappie. Right there. Come up in here. There you have it. Get a lot more meat when you use a you get a whole lot more meat using this. Uh, I will admit that because you get a lot of that belly meat cut by cutting around that rib cage. But I don't know. We got 13 of them here to flay up. Let's get after it. All right, so we filled up the hard disk, so I'm not sure where it cut off, but I know that you've seen, me ha seen how to clean a fish. That is how Deer Meat for Dinner cleans his fish on his channel. I'm nowhere near as good at it as he is, but I got quite a bit of crappie flays. I will get better with this. That is a promise. I bought this because I wanted to learn how the old-fashioned way of cleaning. I will tell you the nice thing about this knife, it's very sturdy. Um, it's not flimsy whatsoever. Uh, very sharp, holds a good edge, and um, wasn't really wanting to do a review over this, but all in all, this is a really good knife. I, uh, I'd recommend getting one. It's got a lot of backbone in it. Um, like I said, it holds a good edge. Um, like the quality, but Silver Stag, dare meat for dinner, baby. There it is. That's what I think about this knife. So if you guys haven't got one already and you're thinking about getting a knife and you've uh, seen these and you've considered it, I uh, recommend going ahead and getting that done. Now I'm gonna show you guys uh, exactly what I do with this after I get the fish filleted, okay? So we're gonna go in the kitchen. First, let's take the crappie. We're gonna go dump them in the garden. long that garden will be beautiful again. I need to get out here and till it. 
Should have already done it, but the ground is so wet. We have like a issue with ants. And this whole backyard is like, it's really soft. All right, so now that I've got, I go through and clean, like you just seen me, I clean every piece of meat off and I make sure I run my fingers through there. Now, crappie does have a small uh, pin bones down the middle of the red stripe. Those are fine, you don't have to cut those out. Whenever you cook them, they'll soften up, you won't even know they're there. But I go through and make sure I don't get any bones whatsoever. I rinse all the meat off really good and now I'm gonna soak it in salt water. And I'm going to leave that for one day and then I'm going to either decide that I'm either going to, so then I'm either going to cook them or I'm going to put them in a freezer bag and one of the ones that you vacuum seal and I'll do that if I'm not going to eat them fresh. So I do like to soak them in salt water for a day. So that's what we're going to do next. As you can see, like some of the bigger 12 inch, 13 inch fish. They have this bigger red, the red vein that goes through here. The smaller 10 inch fish, they're just a pure white meat. All right, so this is pink Himalayan salt. I've got it in one of our deals. I'm gonna crush them up. All right, so now that we got that done, that basically ends the process. I'm gonna go put these in the refrigerator and we're gonna leave them for till tomorrow. I may cook them for dinner tomorrow evening. So if I don't eat them tonight, tomorrow night, I will put them in a um, vacuum sealed bag and I'll vacuum seal them and then I'll freeze them. I'll make sure I put the date on them and put them in the freezer and we will eat them very soon. So that's all I got for y'all today. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you would, please hit that bell for notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. That's all I got for you guys today. Till next time, we'll see you on the next video.